shit I've done, baby, all the shit I've dealt with. I be with my new bitch, ooh, acting reckless. Shining like the sun, baby, girl, don't be selfish. Can you help me, baby? I can't help. Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Perks, back in with GTA 5 online video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get that outfit on the screen here using the transfer glitch after the latest patch 1.51 so if you guys do go on to enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you like this outfit so also, um, with this glitch you will lose all the outfits you have except from the one you have on, so make sure you have the outfit on you don't want to lose now once you have that on, bring up the pause menu, go over to online and go down to swap character so now I just want to go ahead and wait to load it into the swap character menu so now once you do, you should see these two characters here, so your main character and then the second character here. So you want to go ahead and edit this second character by pressing X or A, depending on what console you're on. So I'm on PS4, so I'm going to go ahead and press X. If you're on uh, Xbox, you want to press A. Then you want to go ahead and copy the rank over. So if it is a male for you, you just want to go ahead and switch it to female. But mine's already a female, so if yours already female, just go down to save and continue. And then just go ahead and select that. And then just take the picture and then load it to GTA Online. But if it's a male, just switch it to female and then do them steps after you switched it to female. So now once you load into GTA Online, I just went and cut it out. You want to check your pause menu or your map to see if you have any closed stores. If you don't, then just go ahead and break the pause menu, go to online and find new session. Then when you load in, you should have the closed stores. But if you already have closed stores, just make your way over to any of them, just like I am here. Now once you've made your way over to the closed door, you just want to run inside and quickly before we start the components, go over to the accessory section and go to earrings. Because some standard outfits come with earrings just like mine did here, so you just want to go ahead and take them off. Now for the first component outfit, you want to go to the pants section, go to sports pants and equip the sported muscle pants. So it should be the very first um, item on sports pants. So now once you selected them, go to the top section. Now once you're at the top section, go down to leather jackets. And you want to scroll down to number 32 until you find the blue JC jacket. So now once you find the blue uh, JC jacket, you just want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, you want to make your way over to the bikini section. Now once you're at the bikini section, you want to uh, um, select the first one, which should be the black floral bikini. So you want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, you want to make your way over to the shoes section. You want to go over to high heel boots. And scroll down to number 24, which should be the Deluxe Midnight Combat Boots. So now once you've selected them, you just want to back out and then make your way over to the desk, the main desk. And you can just go ahead and save the outfit. I accidentally went over to the um, accessory section, you don't want to do that. That's for the next component. So you just want to back out of here if you made your way over to here and just save the outfit at the main desk. So you can just save this in slot 1 as new outfit 0, so just save it as the name that it comes with already. So now for the second outfit, just make your way over to the top section. Now once you're at the top section, you want to scroll down to busters. And go to number 13, which should be the till lace buster. So you just want to go ahead and select that. So now once you select selected that, you want to scroll back up to the top of the clothing section. Now you want to go to denim jackets and go down to number 9, which should be the distressed denim jacket. So it should be number 9 here, you just want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you've equipped that, just back out of the clothing section. So now you want to make your way over to the accessory section. So now once you're at the accessory section, go down to gloves. And now go down to number 4, which should be lightwood and tactical. So now once you equip them, you can just go ahead and make your way over to the glasses section. Now this is for the checkerboard hat and glasses, the ne these next two um, items, so this is optional. So when you're at casual glasses, go to number 22, which should be the copper marbles. If you don't want checkerboard hat and glasses, then just don't do these two um, components. So now make your way over to the hats, go to canvas hats, go down to number 78, which should be the grey plate canvas hat. Just want to go ahead and equip that. Now once you equip that, you can just go ahead and save this outfit to slot 2. So this is the second component outfit done, there will be one more component outfit. So just go ahead and save this to slot 2, this is the new outfit 1. So now once you've done that, you're going to make your way over to the top section. So now once you're at the top section, you can just go down to work jackets. Now you want to go down to number 9. Should be the peach camo closed field jacket. So just want to go ahead and select that. So now once you select that, just back out of the work jacket section. 
and you want to go down to tuck t-shirts now you want to scroll over to number 75 which should be the blue digital t-shirt so you want to keep scrolling until you find number 75 so you should see this um, part of the blue top above the jacket so you want to go ahead and equip that so now once you equip that you can just make your way back over to the main desk and then just save this outfit so these are the these are the three components to make the model outfit in the thumbnail and on the screen at the start of the video so now once you save them i'm just going to go ahead and say, um, show you the three components quickly before we start the transfer glitch because the next step is to do the transfer glitch so these are the three component outfits you should have so now once you've got the three components you want to bring up your interaction menu go to the very bottom and just select the easy way out so what this will do, this will actually force the game save, so just save the three components we just made. So now once you spawn in, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online and go down to creator. Now you just want to go ahead and load into creator. So that should only take a couple of seconds, I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up. So what we're going to be doing next is creating a land race, don't worry if you don't know how to, I'm going to go ahead and show you. So you want to go to create a race and then go down to land race. So now once you select the land race, it will take you up into the sky and load you back in. Now for the race, um, the race details, you can put the title in the description, there's just a bunch of random letters, that's what I usually do. Now for the photo, you can just take a random photo of the sky, that's what I usually tend to do. But now for maximum players, you want to make sure that it's set to 2, now the route type, set, set that to point to point. Now change the cars to supercars, and just change it to like any other car, like the Furia, because that's the car I use. Now for the trigger location, you want to go in the pause menu, and go ahead and warp over to the airport, just like I do here. Now once you've walked to the airport, if you want you can just copy what I do next. So you want to place a select um, the trip location just around the area I did. Take a uh, random lobby camera photo. But now for the checkpoints, if you want you can copy what I do or just roughly do the same. So you just want to put one long checkpoint along this runway. So you want to make the race about 0.75 because that's what works for me every time. But if you want you can try like 0.74, like 0.78, something like that. But I just prefer to do 0.75 because every time I do it, it works for me. So I recommend you guys just do 0 0.75, so just make sure your checkpoints are like mine. Then you want to go ahead and test the race just like I do here. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up, it should take about 20 to 30 seconds, depending on your race length. So now once you finish the race, you want to go ahead and accept this alert. Now bring up your pause menu, go over to online and go to choose character. So now you want to go ahead and wait to load into the choose character menu. So now once you load into this menu, you want to go over to the second character. You want to go and press square or X, not X, sorry. Um, I don't know what button it is on Xbox, sorry. But you want to go and delete your female character. So it should show, it should show you the button on the bottom right. So you just want to go ahead and delete your um, second character. Now once you delete your second character, you want to press circle to back out to story mode. You want to make sure you don't um, select your male character. So I would just mess up the whole entire glitch and you'll have to do it again. So yeah, you just want to wait until you load it back into story mode once you've backed out of the choose character menu. So now once you've backed out, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online, and then just load into invite only session. Or if you want, you can go into a public session, but it's completely, it's completely up to you. I just recommend the invite only session because it's just easier and there's no other people to like mess up the glitch for you. So now once you load it back into GTA Online, you just want to make your way up over to the wardrobe in your house, or if you want, you can make your way over to a clothing store. But I spawned in my house, so I'm just making my way over to my wardrobe. So if you if you're near a clothing store, just make your way over to that. So now once you're in the wardrobe or clothing store, you want to go ahead and save the outfit you have on into the slot 20, so it doesn't get in the way of the outfits. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this main, like I do in all my videos, because it's just my main outfit at the moment. Now you should see you have the three components here. So new outfit 0, 1 and 2. So now you want to go over to the Gorka suit section and equip uh, the Ash Gorka suit. So if you have all of the Gorka suits, it should be number 3. So now once you've equipped it, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online, go to jobs. Just go down to Royal Side Create and go to Versus and then just select Crooked Cop. So now once you select selected Crooked Cop, you want to wait until you load it into the mission. So now once you load it into the mission, it should show you all these, um, select, uh, these options here. And you just want to go down to clothing and select player owned. Now once you've selected that, you just want to confirm settings. Then wait for someone to join your lobby so you can get like a friend to join or just wait for a random person to join. So as you guys can see I've got someone to join my cop here. Now you just want to go ahead and launch up the job or just start the job up. So now once you load in you want to go down to owned outfit and press right in the d-pad once. So now you should see this like sprunk top with the, like this black um, racing jersey top with the Gorka joggers. So now you just want to go ahead and ready up and get the other person to ready up as well. 
So you have to start cooking up again by the way, this is just the first part. This is so we can get black uh, racing gloves on the outfit. So now once you load it in you want to bring up an interaction menu, go to start accessories and equip a rebreather or an earpiece, then just cut the job using your phone just like I did here. So now it should take a couple of seconds to load it into GTA Online. So now once you load it back in, you should spawn behind this ammunition store just like I do here. So sometimes a car spawns like next to you, but I just want to rub this car. So you want to make your way over to the suburban that's just down the road from where you spawned. Now once you've made your way into the suburban, go to the back corner where the accessory section is. Now you want to go into gloves and you want to go ahead and find where the race suit gloves are. So I believe it's number 43, uh, 42 sorry. So you should see when you equip it, you have the black racing gloves. So now once you've equipped that, you want to go and delete new outfit 0. So that should be the first outfit saved. So now once you delete that, you want to bring pause menu, go to online, go to jobs and just start cooking up again. We're going down to verses and just selecting it. So now once you load it into the job again, all you need to change is just the clothing, put it on player owned. So you just want to scroll down to clothing, put it on player owned. Then just get someone to join again or wait for someone to join. Now just start the job up once someone's joined. Now just want to wait until you load in. So now once you load in, you want to go down to owned outfit, press right on the d-pad twice and I should see the modded outfit on the thumbnail. So now you just want to go ahead and ready up and then just wait until everyone's ready up and when you've loaded into the mission. So now once you've loaded in, I'm going to bring up the interaction menu and this time equip an earpiece not a re because otherwise it will take off the checkable glasses. So, but if you don't have checkable glasses, just equip a re -breather. Now you can quit the job using your phone again and this time when you leave, it won't take as long this time. It should only take like a couple seconds this time. So now once you've loaded in, you can just make your way over to the ammunition store that you spawned behind. Because it usually if you um, host a cooker co-op, you spawn behind this ammunition store here. But even if you join it with a second player, you spawn at ammunition store anyway. So once you made your way in the ammunition store, you can go ahead and take off the earpiece if you want. Or if you like it, you can just have it on. Now you can just go ahead and save the outfit and delete the two components for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and enjoying my content because I'm currently on the road to 3k. And also comment if you like this outfit and want to see any other outfits in particular. So anyways, it's been your boy Perks, and peace.